What a crazy trial. And what a bad game. Let's throw the book at Inspector Gadget for the SNES on this final review in the media dimension. When I write these reviews, I uh, always ask myself, what is important in a game? And while playability is important, and this is a good place to start for Inspector Gadget, as it is playable. Everything works, and the controls aren't too terrible. Design-wise, the game doesn't look too bad either. Inspector Gadget looks like Inspector Gadget, Penny looks like Penny, and the goons do look like the goons from the show. And Dr. Claw has a face, and that's wrong. But on the other end of that, the enemies are just annoying in their design, and either have too much health, or your weapons are not powerful enough. The actual gadgets are not extremely helpful, except for the plunger, which you can use to skip some of the platforming sections, when the programmers didn't think ahead. The arm is helpful too, but you need to use that, so I shouldn't count that. The, the rest is pretty underwhelming, although I would give credit to the bomb, which is extremely helpful, and the arrow if you wish for something with more control. The lantern and the mini gadgets are not helpful a lot of the time, the red copter is more irritating than it should be. The music is nothing to write home about. In fact, uh, at times I was kind of grateful that when recording, my emulator will mute the audio. Another problem is the fact that the game has continues, but an infinite in mount. But I don't personally think the game has any challenging factor that will keep you going. There's no real big win when you actually beat the game. You're not going to prize your friends that you beat in Special Gadget. I think anyone would just say screw this and give up, as it's uh, a bit too hard at times, and if you wish to play it, I recommend using an emulator and spamming the save states as much as you want, because honestly, infinite continues, why not do this? By the way, out of the four SNES games I've played on this show, three of them I've abused the save states for. The fourth one was an RPG. I'm just saying, I really don't see much of a reason to play these fairly. Not, not even one reason. Actually, on that note, what is with these games that are supposed to be made for kids only having two hit point hero? This is kind of akin to Ghouls and Ghosts, except that Ghouls and Ghosts, although one could argue isn't exactly targeted towards adults, kids can't play it, it's not based on a kid's show like Inspector Gadget or Page Master. To point out that a game that did it well, how about Wacky races, races? That gave you a life bar to work with. It's not exactly rocket science. This just make the uh, just to make the game harder when it doesn't have to be. And the bosses the bosses are kind of a weird bag for once. I want to say that the bosses seem to be okay, kind of like Dr. Robotnik, except with Claw, but they mentioned so many potential bosses, like the crazy clockmaker. The show had plenty enough crazy mad agents, they could have had a nice set of bosses. But I, I will still give good credit to at least the first one, I did like that one, even if my emulator's recorder didn't. However, the last boss can kiss my ass. No one wanted their names known in this game, so they made the final boss as just bullshit as possible. So, okay, in case you missed it, you have to defeat this airship thing, which is tricky, but doable. But then you have to fight Dr. Claw, who again, has a face. And that's wrong. I can't get over that. that horrible people. Uh, anyway, he steals all your hats, which is your power source. And if you lose, you have to face the airship again no hats, which is pretty much telling you to F off. Also, the ending with the Chief Quimby getting kidnapped just leaves it on such a bad note. And Dr. Claw has a face. Hmm, so how do I sum up this game? I still haven't found that good licensed SNES game for the media dimension. It might not exist. Sewing this up easily though? Dr. Claw has a face in this game! Yes! Oh shoot, that's going to be a problem.